All right, Larry, what do the Jets need to do to beat the Patriots? Well, one of the things, Duke, they have to do is they've got to get a pass rush, and they have not done that consistently. They've got to find a way to pressure Brady, knock him around, do some things, get some hits on him, and then that hopefully will force him into some turnovers. Next thing they have to do is cut down on penalties. You know, even in the game against Cincinnati, they had some penalties in key moments. They've got to cut down on those offensively and defensively. They've had trouble getting off the field on third down. These two teams tied atop the AFC East. Does the winner of this game eventually go on and win the division? I think so, Duke. I think when you look at how the conference is going, you look at the division, both the teams, even though they do have a lot of tough games on the schedule, both of them play Chicago, both of them play Pittsburgh, but if they end up in the tie, the Jets know if they win this game that they've got the outright win. If it goes to New England, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. The Patriots have won 25 straight games at home. What makes them so tough at home? Well, it's Tom Brady. I mean, it starts and ends with him. His ability to find receivers, his ability to keep the plays going, even on third down, his ability to find guys. Duke, that's the reason why they've been so successful, even without Randy Moss. What do you see as the key to this game? I think it's the play of Mark Sanchez and the offense. They have to put points on the board. They've got to get sevens and not threes. That's been the problem with them, Duke, and they have to start fast because if they don't, you give Tom Brady a chance to keep the Patriots into the game, that could be death as you go down to the fourth quarter where he could pull out a victory. The Jets have won so many games this year in the waning moments. Does that give them an edge in this game? Well, it gives them confidence, and that's very important, especially when you have a young quarterback. He knows that even though the defense may falter or they're behind, he can make plays to get them back into the game. And he's got some great receivers now with Santonio Holmes and Braylon Edwards and, of course, Dustin Keller. So if the Jets can stay into the game, they'll be in good shape. But even if they get behind, they feel they can come back and win.